conditions at the Point Defiance Zoo. Natasha Ryan had a real tough job this Friday morning. She's hanging out with some crazy cute animals, including one that's quickly becoming a favorite at the Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater. Okay, I want you to meet the newest star of the show, as you said. His name is Gonzo, and Sarah here is going to tell us what is Gonzo. So Gonzo is a tamandua, which is an animal a lot of people haven't heard of, but you're probably pretty familiar with his cousin, the giant anteater. So tamanduas are anteaters that live up in trees, and they live in South America in the rainforest generally, but they can pretty much live anywhere that they find ants and termites. You can see he's got these great big claws. He uses those to break open the ants' nests and termite mounds, and he uses his amazingly long tongue to slurp the bugs up. Now he also has a really cool tail. It's prehensile, so it means he can hold on to things with it, so that helps him while he's climbing through the trees. Now Gonzo is also part of the up-close animal encounter, right? So people can get fairly close to Gonzo. Yeah, Gonzo is the newest addition to our In Touch with the Wild program. So at specific times each day, we bring animals out. You can get up super close, you can learn a lot about them, and um, oftentimes we'll even let you find out what they feel like. Would you like to find out what Gonzo feels like? I would, yeah. yeah go ahead and just reach out and touch him right on the back. He's pretty soft. Yeah. And he's not the only one. Time to meet the next one. This is Hazel. All right, Maureen, she is too cute. Tell us about this beaver. What's her, what's her deal? What's her story? Well, hazelnut was actually an orphan beaver. She was actually found in the state of Texas, just outside of Dallas. Don't know what happened to her family. She was rescued, turned into a sanctuary, and since she couldn't be released back out into the wild, she was placed here at our zoo. Okay, and with Gonzo, I know we talked about this. It's so fun feeding because she has the cutest little hand and she just grabs it right out. <laughs> you can actually, again, get really close to hazelnut, right? Can people pet her if they come? They actually can, yes. Now, we don't normally let people come into this area with her. I we, know. we pick her, you're special. <laughs> we pick her up and we allow people to come by and pet her as we hold her. So since she was hand raised from just really a few days old, she is very comfortable, as you can see, being around and meeting people. This is awesome. Too many cute animals here at Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium, so you'll want to check them out. <laughs> All right, in Tacoma, Natasha Ryan, King 5 News.